has anyone ever been to a sex store? The price of a feather is very expensive if you go somewhere fancy. What kind of feather do they use? Yeah, so <gasps> which sex store do you go to? Uh, hey, everybody. It's another episode of Drunk Movie Day. The fun, longest-running show on the internet that has people talking on the streets and on Twitter and online. Glad that you could come here for another episode of this show because we are going to have a lot of fun and do what we always do. That's alcohol and movies. And boy, I'm sad inside. Let's move on to our guess for today. I thought for once that we would have some smarty pants on and these are two people who put pen to paper and they fill out pages of a book and then they send them to somebody and then the book gets made into a product that you buy. Please put your hands together for Dina Del Bucchia and Daniel Zamparelli. Yay! Yay! That was extremely accurate in terms of how publishing works. I mean, that's it, right? It's just long-form diary. Diarrhea? Diarrhea. Long-form diarrhea. I wish someone would publish my long-form diarrhea. Oh, boy. It's, I would be so much more prolific. Movies. They yeah. exist. How do we feel about them? Do we like big spectacle movies? Do we like small, intimate uh, story movies? I feel like I barely have the capacity to experience a movie these days. Mm. Well, cheers. Cheers. So, we're going to see a movie today. Uh, it's a movie that nobody asked for. I should say that it's a remake of a movie that nobody asked for. Uh, today we're going to be watching the 2019 seminal hit Dumbo. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Directed by, you know, still killing it, Tim Burton. <laughs> yep. Wait, is Dumbo God? Where are you? Yeah. Okay, so, like, In he's... the 80s, good. Oh yeah, yeah now? Have yeah. you seen uh, Alice in Wonderland? No, no thank I god. Haven't. Who the fuck asked for Dumbo? <laughs> what what fucking ten year olds like? Ooh, I love the 1941 movie Dumbo, the most depressing shit ever. Enjoy. Bye. See you soon. You have something very rare. You have wonder. To Zumbo. That's a zaddy meets Dumbo. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Rowdy, Rowdy Piper is staring me down as I take the shot. So we're back from Dumbo. Daniel said is already his pick for best picture at the Oscars next year. It's the new Green Book. Like, we keep rebooting things, but it's weird that we don't, like, update the idea. It's, like, so weird that it's, like, this cute-ass elephant yeah. with big, adorable ears, and everyone's like, well, the disgusting, stupid elephant. You're like, what, what world does this exist in? <laughs> should have his own Instagram yes. account. Should have gone this viral a hundred times. Update it. He's got a Twitter yes. account. Maybe if you want to have some friction, he's problematic. He says yeah. a weird thing on Twitter. Right. He's offensive. <laughs> Immediately I had a fuck, Mary kill. <gasps> fuck! Uh, Danny DeVito, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yep. Michael Keaton. Yep. Alan Arkin? The child? No, the old man. <laughs> Alan Arkin. Alan, Alan Arkin. Arkin. I. Oh no. I Would that not it was be Colin the... Firth? That was. I forgot oh, that he was Colin in this movie. Farrell. Farrell. Sorry. Yeah. I'll go first. Okay. Oh, thank you. I fucked Dan. I literally the order you said. I fucked Dan DeVito. Uh, marry Michael Keaton, and I kill Alan Arkin. I have to one hundred percent agree with Kyle. Yeah. There's no. There's no world where you don't fuck Danny DeVito. Oh, whoops! Oh, I dropped. My monster condom that I use for my magnum dong. Yeah, and there's also Kill. a world where you don't marry him. Yeah, you oh, fuck. I would you marry fuck, Danny DeVito. You no, you fuck Danny DeVito. He probably would make you listen to his weird music that he makes. You know home. what? I feel he, like that's no fun. wait, I'm maybe switching. The 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 guarantee kill is Colin Farrell. He wouldn't be a giver. He wouldn't. No. He wouldn't get. There's he wouldn't pay attention to my he's needs. Bad. He's no. He's gonna. I bet, you know what? Not agree. Hot people I are bet, not nice. I bet his dick smells. <laughs> so then, who's you, yours? You fuck. Danny. You no. You fuck Michael Keaton. You marry Danny DeVito. You kill Colin Farrell. <sighs> Always kill right. Colin Farrell. Now you want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Well, there you have it. Those are our 2019 <laughs> Mary Fuck Kill picks.
But we all agree Colin Farrell is dead, unfortunately. Sorry, Colin Farrell. <laughs> to getting horned up over CGI elephants <laughs> and Danny DeVito in a tub. I'm wet as fuck. So is my couch. The scene where Colin Farrell gets recognized by two gentlemen in the crowd. Hey, aren't you so-and-so? And the guy was no. like, and then he was like, in front of them, put on a fake monster. And went, no, he was died in the war. Was that when he had his fake arm? He might have. I don't know. No, he had a fake Ableism arm. Ableism alert. Also, that means he always has a fake mustache. Would you fuck Colin Farrell with the fake mustache? <laughs> Or no mustache. Nobody kissed Dumbo in the mouth, which is weird. Animals what? do not have if, consent. If there's one thing, what about you parrots? can No, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> They're parroting what other people have said, so they are not like on board. They're not like, you know what I would love? I would love to a be pe- to I'd be love penetrated. A dick in my mouth. A parrot. Yeah. Put a, a, par- par- a, a dick in my mouth. Yeah. Par- yeah. yeah. I was talking about my favorite moment of the movie, which okay. was the scene where we are introduced to the uh, new uh, circus that Dumbo belongs to, led by Michael Keaton, the called bad guy. Dreamland. It's called Dreamland. The scene in question involves a announcer. The yeah. microphone is lowered, yeah. mirroring a, a boxing match. Yeah. But you're like, no, nah, why would they? This is a 2019 movie about the 19. 19- 20s? No. Why would why would they be parroting uh, boxing? The announcer is Bruce Buffer of announcing boxing fame. And at one point, he says, let's get ready to Dumbo. Yeah. yeah the yeah, fuck is yeah, wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. What Did if I, like, Tim Bur- devil's advocate please say that I loved it? Uh, let's get ready to Dumbo. This is the problem that I I think that we have to talk about is that like... This movie exists, yes. (laughs) Like what's... Like does Tim Burton think this is good? Let's get ready to Dumbo. This happened in a movie... So funny to me. (laughs) In 2000... (laughs) Well, first of all, I have no taste. Let's get ready to Dumbo. It's 2019. That reference is... are you sure? Are you sure? I don't know anymore. I honestly don't. Because Daniel loves that reference. It might be 1995. I can't tell. Imagine you're about to fuck Daniel. Oh, you know, yep. And you said, let's get ready to do Okay, up. see, here's where I'm now back on board. Oh, we lost you. There are so many moments in this movie that were too erotic for children. Here we go. Gina, <laughs> list off your top erotic moments let's of go. Dumbo the Child movie. Fingers down the side. Danny DeVito immediately appears, number one. Danny DeVito is in a tub, nude. He's soapy. He's covered in suds. Yeah. He's a sudsy? He's a sudsy little no no. Danny DeVito puts on a more upper class suit with a flower. I mean, I think just overall, there's a lot of close-ups of Danny DeVito's face where he looks like a kind, older Italian man from my youth. Hey, Daniel. Yeah. Let's get ready to Dumbo. Let's get... You're going to wake up in the middle of the night a year from now and go, Bully. let's get ready to Dumbo. <laughs> my husband's going to divorce me and I'm going to yell out, let's get ready to Dumbo. Well, I mean... As he loads the last box into the moving truck, yeah. you know, Let's get ready to dump. And he taps the side. And yeah, then... and it drops away. <laughs> and Daniel says, let's get ready to The dump. true amazing <laughs> That's part I of that. I hang myself yeah. in my garage. Yeah. <laughs> The movie that we've been speaking about this entire time, Fuck, Mary Kill, Let's Get Ready to Dumbo, <laughs> Danny Vito Erotica, is a children's movie yeah. that I could never imagine yeah. a child yeah. sitting down for, what was that, six hour long movie? And leaving the I mean, theater being close, like, I close. have not lost my mind, yeah. Flash. Yeah. I definitely enjoy that over Hotel Transylvania 3. <laughs> I'm also going to say that that movie's fine. I mean, I hated it. And I'm mad at anyone who goes and sees it. Mm -hmm. Like, viscerally mad at anyone who goes and pays money to go watch that terrible movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But a child's going to be fine in it. (laughs) 
I'll start with Daniel. Out of ten unnecessary remakes, what would you give this movie? I'd say a solid three. Dina, out of ten Disney taking over the worlds, what would you give this movie? Like a negative forty-five. That is Arch. Walt Disney on Ice sort of numbers. Wait, what was your answer? Uh, uh, it makes me so upset sometimes that these movies exist because movies these days are so far and few between in the theaters that you actually want to see and we're releasing these joyless, emotionless, garbage movies that nobody wants to see and we're supposed to pay $20 to go see them and it breaks my heart. So I give this movie all of my depression. So like a seven. Yeah, about a seven. Daniel, you've got a, a book out. What's it called? It's called Everything is Awful and You're a Terrible Person. And you can find that where? Everywhere. Everywhere. Dina, you've got a new book coming out. What's that called? It's called It's a Big Deal. That's awesome. And it's a collection of short? It's a collection of poetry. Poetry. Uh, And if you want to read my fiction, I have a pretty recent collection that is called Don't Tell Me What to Do. Okay, I'm, I'm out. Yep. See you, Dina. Bye. So... You ready to Dumbo? <laughs> <laughs>